Okay guys, so I'm going to show you what we've discussed this morning. I'm using the Graphical Robot CVX for Robotics, this one here. Uh, notice last time we used this Graphical Robot Virtual World Lego, but now we are using the Graphical Robot C for VEX. Guys, if you might be confused, uh, in the Graphical Robot Virtual World Lego, you can find the Labyrinth Challenge, the Robo 501 Challenge, and the uh, Robo Slay Loom. But today, we will be using the Graphical Robot C for VEX Robotics, right? This one. Um, how are you going to check if your robot is on the physical world or in the virtual world? Of course, you're going to check here, robot, and then compiler target and make it sure that you have the virtual world. In my previous video, I have discussed how can you find those um, uh, those item here, all right? So if there's no robot of uh, virtual world, you make it sure that um, it's being installed in your computer okay so you go to home add licenses if you have, if there's no uh robot c world vert this one robot c ro robot virtual world vex so you just uh, enter it and then start trial so and then you you can have this one all right and then um also in the window column you check in the select virtual world to use you use make it sure that it is in the challenge pack for VEX IQ. Okay, so let's proceed. Um, say for instance, if I have this code forward uh, the robot for three duration using 50 speed with uh, unit type of rotations. And if we are going to download this to the brain of the robot, okay, uh, you will have this. I'm not gonna save this one. Okay, and you will have this uh form the challenge pack okay so if you have your account actually you are going to use the same account that you use in our previous uh discussion okay here i have to log in this one oops and for my password okay Guys, I suggest that you are going to save your data so that you're not going to enter it again whenever you close your form. Okay, and then, oops. What is our oh, right? So, meron mali dito. Okay, and enter it again. Okay, so notice that you have this interface. First program, move forward, 500 challenge. We're done with this. Uh, for the first program, for instance, if I have this, uh, what do you call this one, this command here, if, if you are going to uh, try it here, start challenge. Okay, uh, let's check if our program or our robot will move. Okay, so uh, you have there success completed because uh, you allow your robot to have its first um, code or first program. Okay, go back to home and then you have there the 50 ch cm challenge we tried this one this morning okay so if you are if you have checked your module the equivalent value of 50 centimeter is uh, 2.48 but guys take note of this if i'm going to change it into 2.48 let's see if we'll be able to reach 50 centimeter so download it again to the brain of the robot and then let's check if our data is correct. All right. Um, okay. So check this one. Forward. I'm going to use three. So you will have the view of it. So it should reach here, 50 centimeter. Okay. Let's move forward and let's check. Okay. So notice that uh, it has a remark incomplete. So meaning to say, guys... This is only for the physical world robot. So it, there is actually a slight difference between physical and virtual world. So we have to change this, but it is actually tolerable um, uh, value. So we are going to change it to 2.6. So the wheels will really pass to 50 centimeters. And let's check. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, let's try it again. And then move forward using three. Okay, so see, uh, challenge successful, right? So basic lang yan guys, so discuss na natin yan sa previous video ko. Alright, so let's go to the arm control. Okay, so notice that there are um, tags or what you call this one? Um, command here that are not present in the Lego. That's why th this... Uh, this program, this will be our the, the we, we 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 will be utilizing this program from midterm to finals. Okay, so notice there are options here that are not present in the Lego. So we are going to use this one. Uh, we have here the touch touch LED color. This is not present in the Lego. The gyro sensor and um, move motor. Okay, we don't have this one in the Lego, but here we have this. Okay, so uh, the challenge now is to move the arm of our robot. So what command we'll be using? We have to use move motor. Okay, and then in this option here, guys, you will use arm motor, claw motor. Okay, the arm motor, check this one. We'll be utilizing the utility tables. Okay, challenge. Right. I'll be using the utility table so we can move freely. Okay, guys, check this robot. The robot has its arm. So the purpose of the move motor, our task or our objective is to allow the arm of the robot to move up and then down. And then the claw, we are going to use code to close this one and open or release the arm. Okay, so how we are going to do that? Move motor. If that if the task is to allow the arm of the robot to move up, of course we are going to use arm motor. Move arm motor, and then guys, notice here. If you have read your module, it should be seconds. Ang kanyang unit type, not um rotation. Why? If you're going to use rotation, mag stack yung mag stack yung robot. Hindi siya maka move. Okay, because rotations are all, all uh, are good only for wheels of the robot. So, so uh, for moving the arm and closing the claw, you are going to use seconds as your unit type. All right. So to move the the arm of the robot for um up, you are going to use fifty positive fifty to move the arm of the robot up. Let's have three seconds. And then to move the arm of the robot down, we are going to use what? Arm motor again. And then say, for instance, I'm going to uh, have three seconds. So we can really see that the action of the robot. If you're going to move it down, you are going to set it into negative, right? Now, also, we, we say that we are going to close the claw of the robot. This one, dapat makagrip siya and then release. Okay? So... Pag makagrip siya, still we will be using move motor and then we are going to use claw motor. Still the same command, same uh, unit type, seconds. And then to to grip the object, you have to set it positive. To, to release the object or to, to release the claw, we are going to use what? Negative. Alright? Okay, so three... And then we will be checking this one later. All right, okay. And then you have here seconds and then negative. All right, so let's check what will happen to our robot. Download this to the brain of our robot. Okay, and then let's check. Okay, so let's play this one. Alright, so move the robot and then move the arm up for 3 seconds, down for 3 seconds, and then close. Okay, so see? Open. Alright, so close. Nag-wait pa siya ng 3 seconds and then nag-close siya and then open for negative 50 release. Okay, so take note of this guys. Please uh, note the, the difference of the negative 50 and the positive 50. And then the arm motor and the claw motor, okay? 
So let's try a challenge um, here for basic movement. Let's try the gripper control challenge, which is one of your activities I posted in the Google Classroom. Okay, so the task of this form is uh, you program your robot to travel to the object, lower its arm, and grab it with the gripper. Okay, so that's your task. You move it forward and then grab the object. Okay, so since our robot, naka-default, ano na siya? Um... As so you can see, yung arm ng robot natin, naka-lower na siya. So, we're not going to lower it again kasi naka-lower na siya. So, our task is to close the the gripper, okay? Or to close the clock. Okay, so how are you going to do that? So, I'm going to open new file. What do you think is the value in the duration? If you're gonna check, uh, estimated is 3.5. No? 3.5. Let's have 3.5 rotation for this. Forward your robot, 3.5 rotations. And then grip or grab the object. So what we're going to use, of course, move motor. In grabbing, of course, you have the claw motor. And then let's set this one. Uh, 3 seconds or say 2 na lang, 2 seconds. And then positive. Okay, let's see. If mag-successful siya. Okay. Oops. Okay, so hindi ko siya save. But guys, you have to save this one if you'll be doing this activity so that uh, after finishing it, you're gonna send it to the Google Classroom already. Okay, let's move the robot. Okay, forward 3.5 and grab the object. See? So successful. Alright, so yun lang. Two lines lang yung ginamit ko forward and then grip the object okay two lines lang yung command for this all right so let's proceed to another activity which is the cargo transport challenge the cargo transport challenge is you are going to carry this one uh, you are going to carry this object to the line okay let's check uh, program your robot to pick up the object in front of it, then carry it to 58, uh, 85 centimeter, and then drop the object and back up to the starting point. Alright? Guys, I reopened my program. I want you to check this one. If I download this one to the robot, if it happens na may mag-appear na ganito, guys, this one, meaning to say, wala na ka, hindi na ka virtual world yung uh, robot natin. So, go and check this there and then set it to virtual world para mag-play siya. Okay? Baka maka-encounter kayo ng ganun. Okay? Then, try it again. Na-close kasi yung program ko. So, I reopen it. Okay. Okay, guys. Doon na tayo sa uh, cargo transport challenge. Okay, loading siya. Okay, for the cargo transport, you carry the object in front of the robot up to that line, which is 85 uh, centimeter. Or if you are going to calculate it and convert it into rotation, that is. 4.2309 dot 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 rotation okay so that's how we're gonna set it forward our robot to 4.23 okay rotations and then after that i grip ni yung object guys i want you to check this one Take note, hindi pa nakahawak si robot. But I want you to see the difference. Gawin ko lang ito na ganito. And then, mag-forward siya. And then, drop ni yung si object, no? Drop niya si object. If you are going to drop the object, what you gonna use? Since na-carry niya na, you have to release it. Tama? So, let's have two. And then, do not forget your unit type. It should be seconds. And then uh, when you are going to release the object, you use negative and then back to its original position. 
What do you think is the, the duration? Of course, since you traveled 4.23, you are going to travel back 4.23 using the same rotation. And check this one. Okay. All right, so I want you to check this. Uh-huh. Okay. Check, guys. See, hindi niya hinawakan si object. Gitulak niya lang si object. And then, move backward. Although, mag-successful siya, pero if it is in the physical uh, world, or physical robot, if mababasag yung object, nababas, nabasag na yung object kasi nga, gitulak niya lang. So, what we gonna do is, dapat hawakan niya muna, hawakan muna ni robot before siya mag-forward. So, what we gonna do? Of course, we use the claw motor, and then, seconds, we gonna set, we gonna wait two seconds, and then, if you're going to grab it, you have to set it positive. See the difference, guys? Okay. Okay. Start natin. And then, two. Okay. Okay, see? Hinawakan ni robot ang object and then traveled to 4.23 and then release it and back again to its original position. Although, you have the same result but this is the correct, alright? Correct uh, formula or code, okay? So, we're done with that. Now, let's go to Sansabot Challenge. Okay, in the sensible challenge, you program your robot to move from its starting box to the three different lines, one, two, three, and then stopping from each line and raise its hand and lower its arm, and then before going to the next line, and then after finishing into the third, you go. it will go back to its original position. Okay, so let's start. Okay, uh, how are we going to do that uh, one? Open ako ng bago. Okay. Take note of this because still this is included in the activities that you have to submit. Okay, so forward your robot. Let's set how many rotations. For instance, let's have 2.48 rotations and then move its arm up. Of course, its arm motor. And then you have two seconds. Let's set that one. If you're going to move it up, positive. If you want to move it down, you have to set it negative. Two, and then seconds here, and then negative. All right? Guys, take note of this. Uh, I want to show you show it first to you because we will do an amazing strategy to um, limit your time uh, or to reduce the time. Okay. We'll be utilizing the copy paste for this. All right, so let's check. Move forward, and then it will raise it its arm, and then move it down. Okay, then stops. All right. Uh, since we have the same command, what we're gonna do is to copy it and paste it. So we are going to utilize this one. Enjoy the benefit of having it here. So, tayo tayo pa ulipag pa balik balik. So copy paste and then copy paste okay so tatlong ano lang naman you know okay and then after reaching the last one what we're gonna do is to go back to our original position of course we're gonna use backward and then since we traveled 2.48 it multiplied you into three what is the results that's seven point something seven point say seven point eight let's see huh seven point eight kayo na mag solve okay Estimated ko lang. Kasi you have 6 plus 3.48 at 7. So, mga ganun. Just add that 3, 2.48. Okay. Let's check. Okay. Go back to original position. And move forward. Okay. Raise its arm and lower it 
and then wait for three seconds move forward uh, raise its hand and lower it and move forward and then raise its arm and lower it and then backward let's see kung makaabot tayo sa point okay so that's it successful guys what if i told you that i told you that I, we can reduce this one if we can still remember the things that we discussed last time i'm going to open new file we are going to utilize our loop tag here so last time we discussed this one repeat since we have uh, three lines to accomplish of course we are going to repeat the program three times and then we'll be utilizing this we just need this three lines here copy and then uh, paste natin dito move natin dito so compared to the, the the previous one we have 10 lines here and then we have uh five lines here and then the last command that we have is the backwards so we're gonna copy this one and then paste natin dito hindi natin siya ipasok, no? Kasi tat ito lang naman ang ulit-ulitin yan. After completing it, pag mag-zero na ito dito, kasi 3, and then 2, and then 1, pag mag-zero na siya, hindi na siya mag, ano, so diretso na siya dito na line, backward, okay? So, let's try. Okay. You see, let's see if we have, we get the same result. Okay. Okay. okay, so take note of this, guys. I'm actually giving you the answer already for your activity. So, yeah, okay. Okay, it will raise its hand. All right. Okay. You know, in that sense about challenge, you have... Uh, okay, you have that in your activity, right? So, you better modify your answer if um, you get it incorrectly. See, we have the same result, all right? So, let's proceed. Um, okay. Okay, so we're done, I believe. Uh, we will be going to your, ne your next activity, which I'm not going to give you your the, the code for this, but you are going to solve this one. Now, what is your task here is you program your robot to move from its starting area through the two rows, trees, and you may choose your own path through the orchard, but the robot must pass the, the both side of each row, right? So, let's check. Uh, check this one, guys. Right? So, this is from this start here, from this starting point here, you're going to travel. So, of course, you are going to move forward, turn left, and then turn right, move forward, then in this point here you may choose whether you pass it here or you're gonna take this path here as long as you will have uh, you able to pass each row and yung dalawang rows dito okay and then uh you will um, check and you will realize that you is you successfully done the activity if you will receive a badge for this okay so this is actually a group activity so the same with other activities as what I have told the group that you can work with the group so that uh, you can brainstorm what is the answer and then uh, you're gonna share it to everybody and so you, of course you're gonna have this have the same code and of course the same answer and then the same result the same score of course all right so that's your activity do the orchard challenge 2.0 and then upload it to our Google Classroom. Okay, guys. So for your exam, um, I'm gonna give you, I'm going to give you um, multiple choice and short answer, active, short answer type of of exam using Google Form. When the other one is the programming. Okay. So you better study this. I'm going to give you the exam on Mon on Wednesday, so you better prepare for this. All right. So um, I'm going to update you in your in your uh, GC or in our group chat, so that you'll be able to prepare everything that is needed in our exam. Okay. So I guess that's all, guys, and I hope you will do the activities I have posted in our Google Classroom. Okay. So thank you so much and good luck.